simple Slack app, Hello World app uh, that uh, tutorial is already given by Slack. So you can start by coming to api.slack.com uh, slash apps, right? And there are a lot of tutorials here. They have created these tutorials. So you can use these tutorials to just get started uh, very nicely they have put. So we'll, we'll just do this. I uh, will create the hello world slack app which is just the basic uh, slack app right and and then we will uh, see how it works so all the steps have been written here so we'll follow these steps and and try to create and take a small deviation from what they have written so i'll put that code in the description so you can just use it so first of all uh, we have to create an app and uh, then require scopes we have to add okay so so i will go to this and i will create an app app from scratch and give some uh, name to it so i'll say hello world slack app hello world slack right very simple and the workspace you want to create this in and create the app right and a uh, lot of different things then it asks right so that's okay second is uh, you have to add the scope uh, that you will request so every app has different uh, scopes that you can add to it so for adding that you can go to OAuth and permissions and you can add a simple uh, you can come to scope and add the scope chat right what they have written there so basically now your app will be able to send messages right that's great uh, and uh, you have to listen to events as well app. so for that you have to go to event subscription and uh, you have to uh, enable it right so before that uh, before this enable event you can go to socket mode and enable the socket mode as well because uh, that is a recommended way for starting so uh, you will uh, so you can give a name to this token so you can say uh, socket token anything you can give right and you can generate this so this is so you have to uh, you know use this but we'll we'll come to it when we have to use it so now you can go to event subscription and here you can enable it and enable it and then you can choose the event that they said uh, you have to do for app home home uh, event so you can add that event app home uh, opened right so basically what this app will do is whenever we'll open the home tab of this app or uh, it will send a message right so what are home tabs so any app if you see uh, there are home messages and about right so if you uh, have the home tab click the home tab of our app you will see a message so this is what it has to do and i think now these steps are done like our app is created uh, now we have to install it so the app is created uh, I'll come to basic information and I will install it okay. great so the app will be able to uh, do this perform uh, action in channels right so now app is installed great and uh, app is uh, uh, socket mode we have enabled now they say use glitch but I'll not do this because that is rather complicated I'll, I'll show you a simple way to do this right and so we'll have to write some code now okay so what I will do is create a directory uh, let's say uh, slack hello world app okay and I will uh, enter that directory change to that directory and I will create a virtual env so python minus mvnv so what is the command python 3 okay so i'm creating a virtual env you know virtual env right any packages etc if you want to keep you can keep here okay so i will activate this uh, virtual env right uh, this is the way to activate it and now i will uh, pip install uh, you have to pip install slack bolt Right, that you need for writing uh, for you know creating slack apps okay so this is great and also I will create one uh, app.py file 
option of it now that is created so I'll open this in now uh, my sublime so that I can write code on this right so this is the file we have created great now uh, I have to write certain code uh, here uh, that will help us and uh, so let's get started uh, on that code so few things we have to import right uh, we have to import these two things from slack board so this code also I took it from uh, slack only but I'm just showing you uh, if you don't have to use the glitch uh, which is a rather complicated way and uh, then when the app uh, home is opened so for this uh, sort of uh, uh, event so basically each event what you can do so I can just say say hello world right and you have to pass two parameters here uh, message and say uh, say right say is this message so you can say hello world very simple right and then you have to do some uh, basic code like write certain basic code I'll again uh, put it in the description again this is taken from one of these slack tutorials only okay and uh, another uh, code you have to write is initiating the app right this one so you have to uh, initiate this app right and you can give name right so you can say hello world one. so i'll put this code uh, in the description don't worry now here two tokens are important right one is slack bot token and one is the slack uh, app token so how we will get the bot token so uh, you can go to oauth right and here uh, you can in the scope uh, uh, we have written we have gotten this scope here you will find the bot token okay. so here is the bot token so bot token is here um, second we need the app token so this app token is what we generated when we enabled the socket mode right so I'll go to the socket mode uh, a bit complicated I'm not sure why slack has made so many configuration but I think yeah they want to make it as configurable as possible which sometimes uh, you know lead to a uh, little bit more uh, you know time to get started right so I took some time to understand all this right so we have gotten the uh, the bot token and app token right and very simple we said whenever this event happens then and then do this right now uh, I think yeah uh, let's let's uh, let's install our app here right uh, so the name of the app was uh, hello world slack right so this is the name of the app so it's installed so home tab you don't see here again some configuration so you have to go to the uh, you have to go to the uh, app home and you have to enable the home tab it's now enable by default right so to go here and uh, you have to enable the home tab okay now it's enabled and you have to refresh the page and start coming so home uh, is enabled now right okay so now you don't see any on clicking home nothing is happening right it's just uh, nothing is happening because our bot is not running so how to run the bot just say python and uh, app.py okay. so you will see bolt is running now great now let's see what happens great you got a message right so whenever I'm clicking home I am getting a hello world right so I clicked home I got it now. Right. great so yeah this is it very simple I'll put this code uh, so you have to create a board token um, to basically you know uh, give these permissions what they have said you know all the permission to the app uh, then you have to uh, create the uh, socket mode on then you have to in the events you have to listen for the app home uh, opened event right uh, right uh, this one you have to add and then then uh, you have to write a simple code uh, that uh, uh, that your this event has happened not sure why this is coming again again 
but I think yeah we're trying to open this that's why uh, it's happening so yeah this is it uh, please let me know if you have any questions and for more tutorials please uh, like uh, share and subscribe